What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, you guys are not mistaken, on the bottom of the screen, it's correct. Yes, we are going to be taking a small tour of the Pal Park. We're actually going to be capturing a few Pokemon there. And, uh, well, along the way, I'm going to explain what the hell happened uh, during the recordings of these last episodes of my Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Now, before we do anything, uh... Just giving you guys a heads up, I've already battled every single trainer going into the Pallet Park. That way it can make it easier for me to just get there. Because uh, the trainers, they're not important, they're underleveled, my Pokemon will destroy them and all that stuff. So anywho, what happened? So, in the last few episodes, I have mentioned to you guys that we hit a snag uh, while creating these walkthrough videos. And that was that while I was adding a code for the RCS event, which I will be featuring in my in a separate uh, series here. Um, I accidentally triggered a a save file from uh, f from my old Pokemon uh, Platinum walkthrough. And uh, if you guys don't know, the Dismume uh, emulator actually has a little bit of a system within it, where you can save a game within the the, the Dismume emulator. And if you press a, uh, a certain number, one through nine, on the key uh, on your keyboard. It will actually trigger the, the saved game. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh, you could be in the middle of capturing a legendary Pokemon and save the game with with F1. And that is exactly what happened. While I was adding this uh, this code, I accidentally pressed the button that triggered uh, an old file. And uh, after that, I blindly saved the game, not knowing that I accidentally saved the old walkthrough from 2013. So that means that I saw, you know, good old Infernape, Pikachu, or I, I should say Raichu, Starmie, all those Pokemon that I've had back in my uh, in my 2013 uh, walkthrough. Now you guys can't find the 2013 walkthrough anymore because I deleted it and all that stuff when I was Draven XE711. So yeah, I was pretty pissed off. Uh, not that pissed off because it was at the very end, guys. The only thing I needed to do was to defeat the Elite Four, which brings me to the next point. Uh, when we face the Elite Four, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit fun. You guys will probably love it. And that's the reason why we're here at the Pal Park. Because I'm going to show you guys how to migrate Pokemon from uh, your 3DS or your 3DS emulator into the game right here. And uh, let's see. What was the big positive out of that whole snag? Um, so, I don't know if I've never... I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. Uh... The 3DS games, 3DS emulators bother me like no other because it lags, it really does. Uh, the other thing too, for the 3DS games, I've been playing it on the same old laptop that I had back when I was a uh, Draven XE711, the very first laptop, yeah. And uh, what came out of that was that, you know, I decided to test the Dismume emulator on my desktop right here. And it turns out that it worked perfectly. So, with that being said, it actually made uh, a few of the redo videos that I've made right here on the walkthrough a lot smoother. And uh, it's actually uh, <laughs> it, it's giving us a, a bright future for Pokemon Black. Because trust me, guys, you're gonna love what's going to happen in Pokemon Black. So as you can see, we're talking to Professor Oak. He gives us the trainer counter, and he's explaining to us that he's going to be at Eterna City uh, to study a little bit more of the st the Sinnoh Pokemon. Plus, you know, he's talking about the Pal Park. And, uh, well, what's going on right here in the Pal Park is that you can actually migrate Pokemon from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Leaf Green, and Fire Red. And uh, you can do that on a regular DS or right here on the emulator there is a little slot a little slot where you can actually get your uh, your save files and all that stuff and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing um, while I was uh, you know doing this whole thing I was testing out Pokemon Leaf Green uh, Fire Red the old Fire Red walkthrough that I had and uh, and uh, what else uh, any any uh, Nintendo 3D or Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance uh, games that I had and the only one that worked was Sapphire, and that was the walkthrough where I was playing with uh, my adventures with uh, Charmander and all that stuff. So that is the file that I'm going to be using for this little adventure right here. So we're going to transition over to the migration part right here. So here we are, everything's migrated. Uh, the the file that I'm using again is the Pokemon Sapphire uh, walkthrough one, the one with uh, my adventures with Charmander. And uh, 
you're gonna be amazed at the six Pokemon that I chose. Now, again, you can only choose six Pokemon per day, and uh, capturing the Pokemon is gonna be very easy. The Pokeballs they give you, essentially Master Balls, throw them, capture your Pokeball. The only thing is, you have to find the Pokemon, and trust me, it took me a while to capture or to find the last Pokemon. As you can see, here we have Charmander, I had named him Godzilla, because you know what, we're currently playing Pokemon Leaf Green, why not name your Pokemon Godzilla, since we are already nicknaming our Pokemon. So as you can see, I captured the very first Pokemon I migrated from Pokemon Sapphire. And, uh, again, a lot of these Pokemon that I'm, I'm migrating, I either caught during the game or I either used them on my team at one point. So let's go ahead and see what the next Pokemon is. As you can see, it's Magnetric. Pretty good Pokemon. Actually, one of my favorite electric type Pokemon from uh, Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Ruby Sapphire series. And uh, look at that. No issue whatsoever. This also works in your Nintendo or your Nintendo DS where, it, you know, if you're, if you're using a regular Nintendo DS, it's real easy to capture these Pokemon. Trust me, guys, there's no gimmicks on this. The, the park balls that you're using, they're basically Master Balls. So now I've already captured two Pokemon right here. Make sure to uh, make sure to check every single section, including this little um, uh, patch of grass. Now, if you're using a water type Pokemon, of course they're going to be in the water. Now, let's see. I'm going to have to try and find. Uh, I think the higher the level, I, I I could be wrong. The higher the level, the harder the the harder the the find. And it took me maybe one or two times to actually try and find the last Pokemon right here. So as you can see, the third Pokemon that I migrated was Agron. And, uh, you know, a lot of the Pokemon that I'm, uh, that I migrated, I basically captured in Pokemon Emerald. Now, I don't know why Pokemon, my Pokemon, my original Emerald version and my original Leaf, or not Leaf Green, my original Fire Red version wouldn't transfer the Pokemon I wanted to transfer. I don't know, but I'm kind of glad that Sapphire did because it actually, you know, it's actually transferring some pretty good Pokemon that I, I'd like to see on my, on my team again someday. As you can see, here's the next one, Absol. Very good Pokemon. Also another Pokemon that I captured back when I was in a back when I was in a Pokemon Emerald. I think I named him Noob Cybot or something. That's right. And Magnetic was a uh, Raiden. <laughs> Some pretty cool names. Got to love Mortal Kombat. So, those are two easy Pokemon. Now, I believe there's another patch of grass right there. And I think we have two more Pokemon to capture, so it shouldn't be that hard. So let's go right ahead and find the other Pokemon right here. Not right there. Uh, let's see. Not right there. I don't think no. I don't think a Pokemon's gonna appear right here. Again, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little difficult because you know the amount of time that you spend trying to find these Pokemon. It, it, I I think it deducts points to the uh, to to the to total points that you're about to get. So. Let's see what kind of Pokemon I, I, I also... Well, I, I migrated. Huh. Let's see. And here we have a Breloom. Another Pokemon that I used in Pokemon Emerald. So, if you guys are, are seeing a pattern right here, these are Pokemon that I've used in the past, and the majority of these Pokemon I've used in Pokemon Emerald. If that doesn't give you a hint, I don't know what is. And there you go. Breloom captured. Hell yeah! I think I named that guy Shroom Lee. And then uh, the last Pokemon right here is just the Pokemon that I didn't use, uh, but I kind of wanted to add just because, you know, for shits and giggles. It's a high-leveled Pokemon, and it's going to be a little hard to, well, my first two attempts, it was pretty hard to find. And right here, right off the bat, here he is, Sceptile. I don't know if you guys remember, I, I played Pokemon Zapfire as uh, Adventures with uh, Charmander, but, yep, Sceptile was part of the team at one point, and... There you go. That's six Pokemon total. Oh yeah. Now, you you do have the option to play the game again. Resend the Pokemon back. And just play the game again just to get a better score. But this is just me showing you guys how to use the Pal Park and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we caught all six Pokemon. And they're going to be inside the PC and all that stuff. So, got 2,776. Second place. And we get ourselves a berry. They always give us a berry after, you know, getting, you know, after getting the Pokemon right here. So, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we're going to be capturing the final legendary Pokemon and then finishing off to this game. See you guys.